and welcome back. It has been horribly cold here in the Ozarks, and the easiest and often most affordable meal to throw together is soup, and we love soup here on Ozarks Live. <laughs> we're gonna hopefully, super. it is soup month, and we're hopefully gonna do a better job than we did last week of piecing this together. So today we're bringing you another recipe from the High V Seasons Magazine, and today it's the tomato red pepper vegetable soup. This is super easy, so here's what you need. You need two cans of tomato red pepper soup, one can of great northern beans, one can of mixed vegetables, one can of garlic fire roasted tomatoes, and then you need some lemon juice, oregano, garlic, pepper, and lemon slices. So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to, um, here, start with these. So um, we are using the Good Graces gluten-free from hy V, but you can really use whatever. This is just what they recommend. So if you wanna open those up. Yep. And then I, I will did. Start <laughs> so I was here a couple weeks ago and Blake and I made soup. and. We maybe struggled in the beginning, but it was delicious. It finished I good, yeah. I did go home and make soup after that and totally cut my hand opening a can. So oh, I'm no. gonna try to be oh. really careful today and not do that. Hey, that's okay, we all make mistakes, right? And I, I do wanna also address that we did not let the Stomp guys use any yeah. of our no. materials we were cooking with today in we their didn't. performance. Also, these are supposed to be drained, but we're just gonna throw it in there. That's so okay. It'll just be, be a right. soupier soup. A little extra juice, yeah. And also, here's the thing. Remember that like at hy you can go in and substitute anything you want. So technically, for this recipe, it calls for the mixed vegetables cam, but we're just using the peas and diced carrots. So it's just really whatever you prefer. There's that one, and then we're gonna do. I'm gonna start stirring. Sounds good. This was always my job. So <laughs> even as a adult at Thanksgiving, I just get to stir. It's an easy job. Yeah. It's fun. Um, this is the diced tomatoes, but it's the fire roasted. Have you ever had them? No, but we actually, my husband and I just looked up a recipe that calls for that. So yeah. we put it on our high V order. It's very good. And it, I think it does add just like a little bit of like, I don't know, necessary flavor maybe. Well, because in our last soup that we made, we used sun-dried tomatoes. Yep. And I commented <laughs> that I don't normally like tomato products. Yes. I like sun-dried tomatoes. We'll find out if I like fire roasted tomatoes. <laughs> we're going to find out today. Now, okay, we're putting in these great northern beans and these are definitely supposed to be Drained, but again, you know what, here, we're gonna drain it into this bowl, how about that? It does smell very good. Does it? Yeah, it smells like tomato soup. Yeah, I, <laughs> but you, you know, the, know, like the comforting. The like, reason I love this one specifically it. is it's like, uh, it's like tomato soup that we all know and love, but just like a little, it's almost like a little like spicy, not, not, um, not taste wise, but just like you're adding more to it than normal, you know yeah. what I mean? So I think it's kind of fun. Okay, so now all our cans are in there. Then we're gonna add seasoning. So. Hy-Vee says that you should get fresh oregano, but we like to make things simple. So I just got the Hy-Vee brand oregano seasoning. So we're just gonna put a fair amount in there. And now I can't remember, did you say we're doing lemon, one lemon juiced? Um, lemon yeah, so we're just gonna, you can just squeeze it in or however you wanna do that. And then we'll, yeah, we'll add lemons at the end to garnish. Um, this recipe also calls for the garlic pepper, just like last week, but if you can't find it um, at Hy-Vee, you could also just always just use pepper and garlic of your choosing. You squeezing that lemon in there. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's a funny thing is like it actually calls to um, buy the like packaged lemon juice. But oh. I was like, we should just be fresh about it and use the actual lemon. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I feel like it might taste a little better. I don't know. Okay. All right, so we're gonna pour a little of this in here. Seasoning is where I went a little wrong last week, so I'm a little bit nervous to be <laughs> honest. I don't know what you're talking about. I thought our soup was delicious last week. We're also using garlic powder this week instead of salt because last week's soup was a little bit salty. But I love garlic as a thing, so the, t the garlicness of it doesn't bother me, but the, it was very salty. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna pour a little bit of this in there. Whatever, that's probably enough. Okay. All right, I wanna stir that around again. This is a super, super easy recipe, you guys. I feel like you're giving me all the dangerous jobs where I might injure myself. Well, please don't. <laughs> it, the thing is, it's not even that, it's probably just because I know that you'll do a better job than I will. Mm, so. Or you'll cool. do a better job than me, yeah which is not that hard in <laughs> retrospect. So this is so easy though. Here's the thing too, you guys. So High V Seasons Magazine, obviously such a great resource. You can find everything online that like you don't even need a physical copy of it. We do have some and you can find some in store, um, but they have so many recipes listed out. This edition is January and February. They have so many good recipes. Um, soups are a big thing this month. Um, using your air fryer in a few different ways Ooh, is a big um, idea this fryer. month. So they have like an avocado fry recipe. Um, they've got some different wings recipes and there's some kind of like salmon recipe that looks really good. Um, a lot of fun like Valentine's Day themed things with that coming up in just a few weeks. So definitely check that out. It's a great, great resource. All right, I think this smells. It smells very, very good. good. Very good. The lemon's definitely coming through, but mm -hmm. it looks pretty good too. So I don't know, I'm pretty excited. Do you like tomato soup typically? 
It's not one I go for normally. Oh, okay, hot take. But it does smell good. I'm more of a chicken noodle girl. Okay, basic. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, that makes sense though. I do like tomato soup a lot, but like, I don't know, this might be a new way to try it. You can just see there's like so much goodness in it. You yeah, know, instead I of think just adding like more the into it. Juice or whatever. Yeah. So this is really good. This is gonna be good. I'm excited. Um, we will try this a little bit later in the show once we get some spoons in a new bowl. Um, but there you go. Look at that. Easy as can be. All right, check it out. Hi V Seasons Magazine. Go online to find out all the deals that you need to know. We'll be trying this later in the show.